Hi there. Now, if you watched the previous video in this series, I showed you how to integrate this function here, where I said that if you've got a function of x of the form ax plus b inside a square root, then you could use the substitution u equals that function, u equals 3x minus 1. But you can also use this type of substitution, u squared equals 3x minus 1. And some people would argue that this is an easier substitution to work with, but I leave it up to you to decide. In the usual way, though, we've got to find du dx, but because we've got u squared here, we're going to need to use implicit differentiation. So I'm just going to put here differentiate with respect to x for something like this. And if we differentiate u squared with respect to x, then we're going to get 2u du dx. So that's part where you've got to bit take care. Okay. And then differentiating 3x minus 1 with respect to x, that's going to be equal to 3. So rearranging this for dx by du, you're therefore going to get dx by du equaling 2u over 3. Now, as you know, you could work with that one or you could make dx the subject in which case dx would equal 2u over 3 times du. Now the other thing is that we're going to have this x left over here. And so we're going to need to turn to this function to see what x is. So if I just put here also, you can see that if we make x the subject, x is going to equal u squared plus 1, and that's all divided by 3. So if we make the substitutions into here, I'm also going to just say let i equal this, give us a lot more room. Then substituting our values in, in place of x here, we're going to have u squared plus 1 over 3. So we've got the integral of u squared plus 1, and that's all divided by 3. And then in place of the root of 3x minus 1, then that's going to be the square root of u squared, which is just going to be u. And then we've got dx by du, which is going to be 2u over 3. And that's integrated with respect to u. Or, as you know, if you replace the dx here with 2u over 3 du, you're going to arrive at exactly the same result. Now, all I need to do is clean this up further, and I can see that if I pull the constants out the front, I've got 2 thirds here times a third, which is going to be 2 ninths. So we've got 2 ninths times the integral of, and then I can see I've got u times u there, which is u squared, and that's being multiplied with the u squared plus 1. And then that's all integrated with respect to u. So I just need to now expand the bracket here and we've got 2 ninths times the integral of u to the power 4 plus u squared. A couple of terms there so I'll bracket those and that's all integrated with respect to u. And then I can see that if I integrate each of the two terms inside the bracket here we're going to get u to the power 5 over 5 and then plus u to the power 3 all over 3, and then the constant of integration plus c. Just border this off, and also just section this one off here. Now what I've got is therefore the integral i is equal to 2 ninths, and I'm going to put the two fractions over a common denominator, that's going to be 15, and then I can see that times top and bottom by 3 then, that's going to give me 3u to the power 5. And then for this third, times top and bottom by 5, and that's going to give me 5u cubed over 15. And we've got plus c. Then I'm going to pull out a common factor on the top here. That's going to be u cubed. So what I've got is 2 
u cubed and that's going to be over 9 times 15 that's going to be 135 I've pulled out u cubed as a common factor across these two terms so that's going to leave me with 3 u squared and then plus 5 and then we've got plus c now I'm going to want to start to substitute back for u We've got the 2u cubed though, so that's going to be 2 over 135. Now for u cubed, I know u squared is 3x minus 1, so let's just come down here. That means that u is going to be equal to all of 3x minus 1 to the power half, the square root in other words. So if I now cube u, it follows from here that u cubed must be equal to all of 3x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2. So I can substitute that in here as two lots of 3x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2. And then I've got 3 times u squared. That's 3 times u squared being 3x minus 1. And then we've got the plus 5 and the constant of integration there, plus c. Nearly there now, just copy the front bit out, 2 over 135 times 3x minus 1 to the power 3 over 2, and then when it comes to this bracket here, I've got 3 times 3x, which is 9x, and then 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3, plus that 5 is plus 2, and then we've got the constant of integration, plus c. So obviously the same answer as what we had in the earlier tutorial where I did the substitution, just u equaling 3x minus 1. So you should be able to compare the methods here, see which one you fancy. Um, sometimes you might even be told to use a particular substitution like this. So hopefully it's giving you an idea how to do it where we use implicit differentiation. Okay, so I hope that's been of some use to you.